and welcome to another F1 Mind Beer Reviews. My name is Zeb. My name is Daniel. This evening we're drinking from Florida Beer Company in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Their southernmost wheat mm. beer. Well, it's just southernmost wheat, but it, it is beer. Mm -hmm. It's a Belgian-style mm. ale brewed with spices and key lime, and it is 5% alcohol. Yeah, sounds interesting. My wife was in Florida recently and brought us back a few beers. This, this being one of them. Let's see what it's all about. <coughs> well, looks okay. For wheat beer, I expected more foam, but oh, it's definitely more foam. Nailed it. <laughs> Back on top of my game. Okay, because it's all on the pour. So it is not see-through at all. No, it's uh, murky. Let's say. Um, like light straw, light straw, and it's kind of the color of honey. Yeah, two finger. That means anything. White head. Label on this thing. You can see it. There it is. Okay. <sighs> smells like unusual. It smells great when you stick your nose right in it. Ha. It does smell kind of unusual. It smells a little sour, but that might just. It, that might just be the key line. Yeah, that's weird. It smells like cardboard or something. That's weird. I don't smell cardboard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a little strange. Hard to pinpoint. Yeah, I don't really smell any yeast, which I was expecting. I smell some sort of fruit that I'm attributing to lime. Hmm. It's also a real light smell. Yeah, I'm sticking with cardboard. Schlanta, Schlanta. All right, cardboard man. Doesn't taste like cardboard. No. Tastes like a wheat beer. Yeah. It's a little more subdued flavor-wise than most. Yeah. But it's still there. Hmm. Interesting. It's got its own unique flavor. I don't know if I would pinpoint lime. Yeah, it's, I'm sure I wouldn't actually. The power of suggestion is strong, so I mean, obviously, I'm thinking lime, but if it didn't say that, I would just say it's a little tar. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a nice flavor. It's very, like you said, subtle. It's, yeah, uh, it's not. Then it kind of, it's weird. It kind of like at the finish there, it's like cools off a little bit, almost like yeah. Hmm. It's very crisp and like refreshing. Yeah. In a refreshing way. Yeah, I bet that's great in the you know the yeah. hot, hot heat of summer. Yeah. Or any day in Florida. It's actually pretty good right now. It is good. It I think my thing, my initial reaction is that it, I have all the wheat beer flavors, but like I said, they're a little more subdued. It's a little like it's not as like, whoa, that's immediately like wheat beer flavors. They're there, but it's a little more tart, which I, I'm attributing to the lime. Mm. But that isn't bad either. It's not no. sour, it's the tart, which is... I, oddly enough, I almost want to put a piece of lime in it. You know, yeah. like you would with a Hoo Garden or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it is good though. I think that would be good. So, uh, I think that would, might enhance it a little bit, because I'm not actually tasting lime. Right. But. Uh, it's a nice label. It's very um, yeah, it's cool. minimalistic, kind of. Yeah. It's also, uh, let's see, Beer of the Conch Republic. Whatever that means. Uh, is Florida the Conch Republic? <clears throat> or, or a certain part of Florida? I'm not really sure. I like the uh, name, Southernmost uh, Southernmost what yeah. is Wheat, because yeah. uh, Key Lime is the southernmost point of the United States. Key Lime? No, the Key, Key West. West. I know what you meant. Southernmost of the continental U.S., or is it southernmost of all the U.S.? I don't think it's all the U.S. Including Hawaii? I don't think so. Isn't it more equatorial? I don't know. Anyway. I don't know either. I have to look on that. Where's the globe? That <laughs> um, about covers taste. Mouthfeel, kind of creamy. Pretty standard wheat beer mouthfeel. It's almost a little on the dry side, which is hmm. it's kind of nice. It's very nice. Yeah, actually. you're right. I'm enjoying it. Good. 
Yeah. Very good. good. So if you're looking for uh, you know complex flavor, it's not. This is not the beer. Right. But it's very. Uh, it's very good. Yeah. It's very good. It's refreshing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What they've done is. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Drinkability all day. Sure. Five percent. It's probably amazing in the heat. Probably. I mean, it's a little cold where we are right now, but that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. still tasting good. Do you have a uh, a rating, perchance? Yes, I am giving it a four or five. I am as well. Only reason I'm docking it is just uh, the flavors are really good, but I just want them to be a little bit bigger. I just want them to come through a little more because they're really good. Yeah, and I'm on the same page, it's, and I'm, I would be looking for a little bit more lime flavor. Yeah. I mean, you know, if it, because it says... A little more pronounced lime. Because it, it actually says spices and key lime. Like I said, tartness I get, but without knowing it was lime, I certainly would not attribute it to lime. Mm. Indeed. Right. So, oh, oh, yeah. oh, all right. If you got anything else, or if you have anything to say, please leave us a comment below. Questions, comments, concerns. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, cheers. Cheers indeed.